Hi. Neurodiversity. How, in so many ways, that plays out for the fathers out in the world. Read a great article this week that really focused on fathers' mental health in raising neurodiverse individuals. It was a lovely article written by a great gentleman in South Africa. He was there actually at a retreat and they had brought him in to talk about that, about men's mental health and in particular fathers who are raising different thinkers. And so I wanted to focus on that too this week. After I read that, I went, wow, talk about a group of unsung heroes typically in the neurodiverse community. Um, often moms get the praise and thanks because they can step a lot of times what I've seen is that they've stepped in and done a lot of the executive function for the family and for people and fathers play different roles and quite often in those situations and maybe a little less noticed for what they are doing and it's just such a great article and it's so good so to remember to appreciate those people that do as a different thinker that have invested in us, those people that have stood up for us, those people that have helped us through a variety of systems and environments that just are not designed for our different thinking. Because we go off and thrive and succeed, but sometimes we don't always remember to turn around and thank the people that helped us navigate school at times, college, those types of things. So this is just my reminder. To the neurodiverse community, if you're neurodiverse and people have invested in you to help you navigate some of those systems or to bring you up as a human being, don't forget to thank them. Don't forget to say thank you for investing in me, for helping me to be a leader, helping me to get to my gifts and get through some of those systems. I'm Drew Gina, International Neurodiversity Coach. Hope you're having an outstanding week. And if you would like to grow your life and become more productive and so forth, check out my coaching. Bye now.